Hey guys, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to grow a curve along a path. So we're going to open up Blender and delete our default cube. Shift A and add a Bezier curve 7 and 5 to go into top orthographic view. And let's just tab in. And we just hit E a couple of times, extrude this curve around. Uh, we can rotate and scale a couple of these just to make it a bit more interesting. Uh, whatever shape you're going for is fine. One to go in the front view and we'll just keep changing the way this looks a little bit. Okay, that'll work. Tab back out and move this up and out of the way. Shift A will add another Bezier curve and rotate along the X 90 degrees and tab into edit mode. V to change these to vector handles and See how this is two blender units long between the points? We're going to extrude along the Z another two blender units to make this into a half a square. Select our corner point, control H and add a hook, tab back out and select that curve, push N to get our properties and name it taper. Oop. Okay, shift A and we're going to add a circle this time, rotate on the X 90 degrees. And we're just going to bring this up one, just to make everything look nice, and scale it way down. I'm going to name this Bevel. Okay, grab our original curve and go into our curve properties. And for Bevel, select Bevel, and it's done just what we thought it would. It's taken our circle and extended it along this path. We want it to grow along the path, so let's select our taper from the taper object. So if we grab this control point and bring it along the x-axis, you can see it grows along the curve. Also, uh, if you want it's a different kind of effect, if you bring it up, it just kind of thickens the curve from start to finish. Now, as a warning here, if you take this past the two blender units of the length of the curve, it starts to look stupid. So unless that's what you're going for, be careful. All right, one to go back into front view, and we will change the end of our animation to 50. Go ahead and insert the location keyframe, shift right arrow to go to the end of the animation. Grab X2, enter, insert, location again. So there it is growing along a path. We can make this a bit more interesting though by grabbing our bevel object, tabbing into edit mode, and you can see as we change the shape of the bevel object, it changes the shape of our curve. So to make this a little bit more dynamic, we'll just control H. We're going to add another hook and tab back out. Escape and shift left arrow to go back to the front of the animation and bring this in. Insert the location keyframe. Up arrow to go 10 frames further and insert location. Up arrow. Insert location up arrow. We're just going to keep doing this until we get to the end of the animation. Okay. And you can see that it kind of pulsates as it uh, goes down the curve now, so looking a little bit cool. There's lots of different things that you can do with this technique. You can create an armature and have the, the tentacle, I guess, uh, wiggle around as it's growing. You can do several different things with it. So have some fun, and if you do end up doing something really cool, let me know. Thanks.